Uh, Chef, we're glad to have you in the kitchen. Thanks for joining us. Um, it's a pleasure to be here, and um, I look forward to sharing some food. And I see the cameraman is eating a banana. Yeah. After he sees what I put in this pot, that banana will be nothing to him. Uh, Unless he's got uh, rice in the banana. It's so. a challenge. Wow, challenge. wow. <laughs> okay, so we're going to learn about the world of rice, too, with Chef DeRitz. Chef, we'll get with you in just a minute. Thanks for being here. And a new documentary. She's going to tell us all about that. Hey guys, welcome back. We're in the kitchen with a very special chef today. We are told that foodies, uh, those who love Louisiana culture, and anybody who can appreciate a heaping helping of rice wants to watch Chef De Riz. And uh, did you know that the Chef De Riz is Cajun for the chef of rice or the rice chef? Well, listen, there's a new documentary about that. Now, Brandy De Ritz is that chef right now. And Brandy, <laughs> Brandy De Riz, ha. Brandy De Riz, is that the That's right way to say it? De Riz, but Brandy you can De say De Ritz, okay. you know, rice is kind of glamorous. And it's ritzy. It's huh? ritzy, you know, rice, Brandy De Riz. Ritz. Okay, very good. Listen, here's the thing. Brandy is in a very cool documentary uh, that was uh, co-produced with uh, our, one of our very own, uh, Jeremy Campbell. Uh, and this is you're looking at some parts of the documentary, right? What did what did you and Jeremy explore in this documentary, Brandy? Well, the documentary is about the rice culture in Louisiana, but underlying it's about family and friends and um, good food and how food brings everybody together. Right. Winner loser, you know, happy sad. Right. You know, food brings everybody together in the South. I exactly. Right. It's very important. It's it very really important. is. It's kind of like a, a one of the one of the bedrock structures. Right. Of the culture. Uh, now now. I said Chef de Riz. What's what's the right way to say that? Chef de Riz. Okay, Chef de Riz. Right. And your name is pronounced de Riz too. Brandy de Riz. It? Okay. <laughs> okay. So it's kind of natural for you, isn't it? Right. Right. What do you got going here in the in the skillet? In my pot, I already put my bell peppers and onions, and the recipe for the crab stuffed shrimp with rice okay. is on the website. Um, and since Tracy's come over to my pot, it's kind of burning now. Okay. So I, I put out a lot of heat. Put in my pot. You know. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, I put out a lot of heat, but so that's all right. Right. It's it's fairly simple. My goal was to find recipes that you could take from your pantry, yeah. not go out and buy special stuff. Well, listen, throw it in there. We've only I got a little time, so let us peppers, let us learn from you. Crab meat. Okay. You cook these down until they're not brown, until they're white or right. clear. Okay. You add your um your crab meat, and then my rice is in the rice pot. Mm. So we'll let this cook down for a couple minutes. We'll add a little Cajun seasoning, and um which. Cajun seasoning goes good on everything. And the seasoning is a large part of what's going on here, It is. Right? It is yeah. a large part. Just like the, the onions and the bell peppers, Cajun seasoning is, is pretty much the life of every dish in Louisiana. Um, I marinated my shrimp. Right. I cut them, peeled them up to the last shell. Right. I slice them, and I'm going to stuff the back side because if you lay them flat, yeah. it'll it'll hold on the back side. Oh, so, cool. Okay. And I marinated my shrimp in, um, in crab boil because okay. you know how... Louisianans love, and, and Alabamans, anybody on the Gulf Coast loves right. crab boil flavoring. Right. So I marinated my shrimp in that. Okay, so the shrimp is marinated, and is, it's not time for the shrimp quite yet. Not is that time the for idea? the shrimp. Okay. Well, actually, take what's in the pot, stuff it in shrimp, wrap it in bacon. Because oh, bacon makes everything yeah. taste better. Yeah, even oh, chocolate. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Anything, anything. Anything at all. Well, listen, we're going to let Brandy continue working on this aspect of the dish. And, and we're hoping that all of our friends and family on the Gulf do well, and we can get this mess cleaned up. In the meantime, we'll celebrate one of the things that our, our, uh, our family and friends on the Gulf love so well, and that, of course, is good food and good seafood. And so she's going to help us celebrate that. We're going to take a break, though, and we'll get back with Brandy in just a few minutes. Everybody in the kitchen. You know, I was getting a little um, tasting already, but we have our chef with us. And tell us where we're at here. You're the baking wrapping process. Bacon stuffing, baking wrapping process. Okay. Um, after all the mix is cooled to room temperature, you take about a teaspoon or a tablespoon, tablespoon. Okay. Um, the more the merrier. Okay. And you, you, you know, you make a little ball. You got to get your hands dirty, and you take your flat shrimp that we've already um, seasoned filleted, and, okay. and filleted, you could say filleted, and you kind of make a little rice ball on top. And you're putting that on the side of the shrimp that you did not cut, correct? Correct. The bottom side of the shrimp, like the belly. Belly, okay. Then you take your favorite piece of bacon and you just wrap it around. 
Be careful not to squeeze too tight because you don't want it to come all your rice. And stuff. one full piece of bacon. One full piece of bacon um, all the way around. You know, this could be a whole meal, right? I mean, some people would have this in a, as an appetizer, but this could serve as a meal. This could serve as a meal. I'd probably serve it with a side of not rice because rice is in the dish, but you could yeah. serve it with a side of rice. Yeah. More you rice. rice than queen. It. Well, the <laughs> chef three. Um, speaking of chef three, the documentary is online right now. Okay. Do you want to go online right now for uh, Talk of Alabama? Yeah. You can go to 1018 Films, which is, there should be a link on the website, on the, the TV station's website, and um, click and watch the documentary. It's about 20 minutes long, 24 minutes long, and um, you can see all kinds of ways to use rice. What inspired this documentary? When I was a kid in cooking contests and, yeah. and everything, um, we used to compete every year at the International Rice Festival, okay. which is the largest free agricultural festival in the world in my small hometown. Okay. And so on my 30th birthday, 30-ish, yeah. <laughs> I'm really 25, forever, um, I all. decided to travel from Nashville after being away from home for such a long time. Yeah. And I really, really wanted to be Chef Dorie. Yeah. So I went, I competed. You have to place first with one of your dishes. Yeah. And there's four categories, um, seafood, meat, dessert, and um, you interview and, you, and then you ambassador rice. Oh my gosh, and now we have a documentary. Now there's a documentary. Oh my gosh, okay, you know what? What we're gonna do, we're gonna talk a little bit more about the documentary and taste this dish in just a few minutes. Perfect. To close our show.